really is an emotional day for the Marlins organization, for the family and friends of Jose Fernandez, as well as the Cuban American community here in Miami, a very tight knit community. And I can tell you, so many people have showed up here to the church, St. Brendan's Catholic Church. Doors opened just a few minutes ago, and people have been allowed inside to pay their respects to number 16. Earlier today at the ballpark, another scene where folks paid tribute you, Jose, at the ballpark. 16, you are loved and never be forgotten. A growing memorial outside Marlins Park as baseball fans gathered one last time to say goodbye to pitcher Jose Fernandez. Fernandez made his final departure from Marlins Park. The hearse carrying his body stopped in front of his coaches and teammates and drove along the stadium past the large number of fans gathered to pay their respects. I have 26 year old and a 21 year old and it's like devastating. This really, really has touched all of us. I just put the game will never be the same since you left it and I believe it's true like he's gonna go down as one of the greatest players ever and he only played four years. And back out live now you can see people trickling into St. Brendan's Catholic Church here in Miami to pay their respects for a public viewing. This public viewing runs until 11 p.m. tonight. And I can tell you, we are right here on 32nd Street and the line goes at least several blocks. Hundreds of people have lined up to pay their respects. This viewing runs until 11 tomorrow. There will be a private funeral for family and friends. And Jose Fernandez will be buried here in Miami. We will have much more coming up for you tonight at 530, including a look inside the Catholic Church. Reporting live from Miami, Felicia Rodriguez, WPBF 25 News.